welcome to the webinar folks uh, it's uh, it's monday uh, 9 pm and uh, thank you for coming out uh, for this webinar you may have seen a video on the multi time frame trend and uh, this is actually one of the most powerful indicators that you can have to capture trends across uh, various time frames uh, depending on what kind of a trader you are whether it's uh, day trading uh, small swing trades or even larger longer term trades and so i'm going to demonstrate that uh, it works for all uh, you know, asset classes. You can be trading stocks, you can trade options, you can trade futures, ETFs, gold bonds, anything that comes on a chart, this will work. And so that's the kind of thing that I want to uh, uh, you know, show today. I'll quickly go through, you may have seen this video already uh, with this uh, presentation, but basically it's a very powerful, uh, versatile and flexible indicator. Now, one of the things that always was missing was if you you know if you look at a five minute chart and you you think it's bullish but you know what is the uh, what is the trend deeper than that you know uh, what about the 15 minute chart what about the half an hour chart or the one hour chart when you have all these different time frames aligned with the same sentiment then that's when you can get the best uh, uh, the best confidence for the trade and so that's what we've tried to do as you know I've, uh, I've been creating these algos and you know one builds on the other and uh, you know I think we've hit upon a really powerful indicator here for any kind of trader and even if you're uh, like I said if you're, if you're just a stock trader or if you're just an options trader whatever it is uh, understanding these five levels of trends uh, is, uh, is, is, is extremely valuable and uh, so that's what we've tried to build with this. So uh, I'll just quickly breeze through the rest of these slides. Uh, we're going to see five level of uh, deep trend analysis and uh, we're going to e uh, use the ES uh, as our example right now because the ES is the only one trading. I mean, all the other futures are trading as well, but uh, we'll take the example of the ES because the ES is trading right now. Uh, and, but you can use it on any stock and we'll also take, uh, take a look at some stock that was uh, trading earlier during the day. Uh, and you can put it on any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of time frame. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how the, this indicator needs to be set up. And then, um, you know, what, what you're also looking for is this master indicator, which shows the alignment of all the time frames on that particular chart. And so this visual representation really makes trading a no brainer. And you'll obviously see the signals when to exit as well on the, on, you know, on this. So uh, this has fully been uh, tested on all time frames. It works on all time frames, launching in December. And once you get into the course, there'll be some more uh, usage videos. It installs on the Think or Swim platform. Uh, it's fully configurable. And then once when all five al levels are aligned, you also get an audio. Uh, you, uh, you'll get an audio sound as well. So let me go over to Think or Swim, and then I'll. Um, I'll show you on the on the ES here. So here, what I have on the ES is a one day, one minute chart. That's, you know, so that we can see something's happening, uh, you know, right away. So if you look at what the current trend is on the ES, it's trying to break out. So the way you want to look at these indicators is uh, this is a one minute chart. And so the lowest level uh, should be a one minute chart. And then all of these should be higher time frames than the one minute. So the next one I've configured to be a five minute. You can see the configurations here. You can see it's five minutes. The next one after that is 15 minutes, then I have a 30 minute and then I have a one hour. So obviously if you're day trading, if, if you, you would use this setup, if you're day trading and you'll be in a trade for maybe a few minutes, uh, maybe up to an hour, that's it, because you're trading on the one minute chart. Uh, and so I'll show you a longer term chart as well. But uh, you know, on this particular chart, this is how you would do. And so you can see now uh, the alignment is coming in all the way from the, uh, you know, obviously the one minute is uh, bullish, five minutes, 15 minutes and the 30 minutes. And the 30 minutes has been bullish for about three or four times. However, the one, the one hour uh, chart is still not showing bullish. And it's doubtful if it will, because if you see the day's action today, uh, the, uh, the day's action started right here. And from then it's been sort of a downward trend. Yeah, granted in the after hours now, you're seeing, uh, or you're seeing some flattish kind of action. And so the, the one hour is still not come into the trend yet. But if you were to look at what happened during the day, the market started right here. And so I'm going to zoom in on that section because we let's look at what happened during the day. Uh, and give it one more right there. And so we go back. And uh, 
let's look at this. This is the market open right here. Okay, so the market's open right here and within about four or five minutes, it went into all five are bullish. So that is this particular, that is this particular uh, point right here. So on this bar, all five went bullish. Of course, this will come only after the bar is over. And so you're looking at a trade from here onwards. And so it, it, the next bar opens here. That is a level of about 3144 on the, on the ES. And so if you were to take a bullish trade there, you could write this all the way. And in general, I said, once a trend sets in, it usually sticks to around anywhere between four and, 10, uh, four and 10 bars. So you can see that this is close to 10. So for the next 10 bars, you have a nice bullish trade from here onwards from 3144 all the way. And if you, if you see one single bar on the one minute, you need not be shaken by it. But if you want to get out of the trade, you can on this particular bar right here. But you would have ridden a trend from 3144 all the way. And if it closed on this bar, this is 3147. That's, so that's four points on the, on the ES right there. Uh, and, and then, of course, once you see this choppiness, some reds and greens and everything, you want to stay out. Uh, and, uh, of course, this trade would, would, uh, would not have made much. It would have gone for about three or four bars. That's about it. It would have been a break-even trade. And so now you can see the pattern also. Uh, it, it's sort of consolidating. And so you wouldn't want to take any trade here. The only trade perhaps uh, would be on this bar right there. Once you see all of these, then this would have been a fairly decent trade. Uh, once again, just about a two or three point. But where the action really started happening in today's market action was uh, on, the, on, on the downside. Because after this initial burst, the market started giving up all of that. And you can see from here onwards, the five dots come in. So these dots, these dots will appear in real time. And so you, you can see it in front of you that, okay, all these are aligned now. And so from here onwards, you can take a downward trade and, and that downward trade could have, and you can see it, it just made an audio because uh, some, all five got aligned. So let's see here. Yeah, it went into bullish. All five got aligned and you heard that audio sound. So uh, if you were on this chart, you would be alerted that, uh, you know, all five are now aligned. So potentially you can take a bullish trade here, but let's go back to our uh, bearish situation because that's really where the action was today on the bearish side. So if you look at uh, from here onwards, we were looking uh, from this bar, you could have taken a bearish trade and stayed in the trade all the way till you see this green bar. So which would have been uh, a trade from 3147 back down to 314, uh, 3145. So again, a small trade, but then you're looking at the one minute chart. So in, on a one minute chart, then uh, your actions also have to be taken quickly. Uh, because uh, you know you're trading on a one minute chart so even a two three point uh, move on the on the ES uh, will produce a good trade similarly then these things of course uh, here also there was another little trade over here and then some trends started developing uh, as we went along the day so a little bit of choppiness you can also see you know whether you want to take the trade or not because if it's a flattish consolidating kind of a pattern uh, then uh, you know then uh, it, it may not be worth it for the trade so what i have here is the a five period uh, exponential moving average actually i prefer the nine let me just edit that i prefer the nine period and uh, the nine period is just slightly more longer term and that works uh, uh, that works better in terms of uh, showing the showing the immediate trend so here we go so if we were we were here right here we started here and then we are looking at these kinds of things here so you know once again you can see that uh, even even if you saw a green dot or so but if it's not crossed the nine period exponential moving average you could stay in and it would have been a bigger trade it would have been a nicer trade all the way till here so that is the way you would want to interpret this and so let me show you the configuration okay let's go through this day and then you had some more bearish opportunities every now and then. Here you can see this one, uh, this one turned all five and this would have gone all the way up till here. So when you see these two green uh, dots, now definitely when you see on two different time frames, when you see dots, I think it's time to get out. Uh, so even if you were to stay in a trade, if the lowest uh, uh, dots, which is the one minute, uh, were, you know, had turned color, but once you see two, I think it's it's uh, you know it's it's time to get out of the trade. So it, it it keeps you in the trade. It tells you when to get out. 
uh, it's very powerful. Once you see this kind of choppiness here, then you know there, there's no point in uh, trying to force a trade there. The next big one comes right here, as you can see. Uh, here it is. Uh, in fact, this one, I believe. No, this one right there. So at this bar from 3141, you could have come all the way into this trade and you would have exited right here, which would be 3138. Once again, it's a it's more like a scalping environment when you when you trade on the one minute chart and so this is three points on the es uh, and if you had gotten down here it, it could have been five points but uh, it tells you when the trend is set nicely because this is the master level indicator it tells you on all five time frames that are being chosen here that it is uh, you know it's 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 very well aligned and so now even though the market starts to go up you can see that Yes, the one minute starts to turn green, the five minute starts and then the 15 minute starts and finally the half an hour also starts but the one hour never really gets into the into the bullish mode. So you would not want to take a bullish trade even through all of this and then finally once again, uh, you know, the bearish trend starts and here you go. You got about six or eight bars right here and uh, you would exit uh, on this bar. So this is obviously on a one minute chart. And so if you were looking at a one minute chart, this would have been a nice trade as well right here. Uh, it, it would have started here and gone all the way until this point right here. So that would have been close to uh, a five point uh, on, the, on the ES there. So that's how you would view this. Now, if you come back to the current situation, let's see, we had, a, uh, we had, a, uh, we had an alignment, but that is gone. As you can see, when the, once the bar is over, it will, uh, you know, it'll, it'll change. So uh, you have to wait for the bar to get over before you decide whether, uh, you know, uh, 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 whether the alignment has come or not. So on that particular bar, although it showed it in the beginning, but by the end of that bar, it did not, uh, it, it did not. So, th so there's no bullish trades here. And given the market, uh, uh, you know, condition for the day, it's uh, the ES has been in a, in a bearish mode, even though the futures are showing a little uh, up about 75 cents right now. Uh, but it's basically a uh, it's basically a bearish day. So the way you would configure this is once you get the indicator, you would uh, you know, you would come here, you would edit the studies. This is the multi uh, time trend indicator and the settings are all here. So always remember the lowest level has to be the chart time frame itself. And so in this case, the chart time frame is a one minute chart and therefore you would want to configure the next highest time frame as a five minute, the one after that as a 15 minute and the one after that as a 30 minute and a one hour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move into a daily chart and let's look at a longer term picture as well. So in that case, what I would do is uh, I would uh, choose if, uh, if my, if my uh, base chart was a daily chart, then I would want the next highest time frame to be two days. Uh, maybe after that, uh, it would be, uh, and it doesn't have to be double or anything like that. It can be two days, three days, uh, four days, um, and then a week. And uh, so, so this way you're, you're catching a trend uh, on a daily chart, you'll be catching the trend uh, on a weekly basis. So for, you know, for how many weeks it's been bullish or how many weeks it's been bearish. So I'm gonna apply this and this will change everything. So now you'll see that uh, this is becoming a, uh, a weekly chart. So, but it won't show anything because my base level is still one minute. So I have to change the base level to a one day chart. And so now you can see in a much more clearer way, uh, of course, today's, uh, you know, when I say today, this is in the after hours, uh, it is, uh, it, it, you know, it's doing this, but here on, the, on, on yesterday's was a down bar and so, yeah, you can see all these audios are coming out. It, 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 on the two days, uh, you know, it's it, it's a bullish. Uh, you know, on the two days, it, it's a bullish alignment. Um, on the if, because the base chart is a is a daily chart. So now the lowest is a daily chart. The one after that is a two day chart. The one after that is a four days, uh, and then the I mean three days, four days, and then one week. So you can see that this trend is setting in. Of course, the, you know this is all in the aftermarket, so you you, you won't be able to uh, take too many uh, you know take too many decisions on that. Uh, but if the market's open tomorrow and if this trend continues, then uh, then you can you know it, you may be worth uh, getting into a uh, you know into a bullish trade on on the SPX basically or the ES futures. But here you can see what a trend. I mean, over the past uh, two months or so. It's been a really good trend and uh, you can see you could have, have been in this trade. 
and uh, you know this would have been a fantastic trade and so similarly you can go all the way uh, you can go all the way to uh, you know even a year uh, you know even three years I think in the video I had showed uh, I had showed the uh, the three day or the video you know or the I mean the three year weekly chart and it can go all the way till there and so uh, you know, you're you're looking at uh, you're looking at a very strong trade over here. If you were looking at a three-month uh, daily chart, uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, you know type it into your chat box, and uh, I will uh, you know I will uh, uh, you know I will uh, you know address the questions uh, all at one time. But uh, here we go. Uh, this is a three-month daily chart. I I, I can change this to uh, a four-hour chart as well, uh, and uh, let's say. Uh, 20 day one hour chart if I did a one hour chart then uh, you know I would need to change some of these settings uh, to slightly uh, more appropriate settings so in this case if it's a one hour chart then I would set this one to be uh, say a four hour chart then this one to be a daily chart and uh, this one may be three days and this one could be a week so now this is a slightly more granular view of uh, you know of uh, 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 you know of the charts and so this is you know you could be in a swing trade for maybe a couple of days you know things like that so you know that's uh, you know that's how we are looking at this so here although there is no nothing no real trend on the on the multi-level indicator you can see that there was some trends here uh, earlier so and so you know if, if you recall the last few days there's been some volatility and so you won't see any alignment there but if you go further back you'll see quite a bit of alignment because it was on a steady climb up uh, all through November it uh, it just grinded up higher so this is how you would uh, you know you would take the trades over here all right a couple of questions are coming in have you started using the MTFT yes it's just been uh, it's been fully tested it's uh, it's gone through uh, it's gone through about uh, two or three months of that and uh, I mean basically there's not a whole lot of testing and the trades you take is basically up to you, right? I mean, uh, you know, if, if you see these, if you see these aligned, and you know it's a bullish uh, uh, position, you would take a call position, and uh, you know if it's uh, red, then you would take a you take a put position. So the trading part of it is is outside of this indicator. Uh, so uh, you know, the, basically, what it is is the indicator has been tested so that it produces the right results on all these time frames. That's really what the testing is all about. Uh, how will this work with tick charts? Well, the tick charts, as you know, is an intraday for uh, you know for uh, you know for SPX. So uh, you, if you're doing the SPX trading, uh, you can you you can use a combination of the ticks as well as this. I mean, it's just the more the more uh, uh, what do you call uh, you know if you have a couple of indicators saying the same thing, obviously then the the strength of your trade uh, is it becomes much more. I mean, you you can uh, it, it's a much more higher probability trade. Uh, what are the other indicators do you use in addition to this? You could use the custom RSI. Uh, if you're trading intraday, you can certainly use the SPX ticks. Uh, but uh, you know, basically, you can use it. You can use it with any other indicator. If you like the MACD, you can use MACD. If you like the Bollinger Bands, you can use. And so, uh, basically, all of that is just adding some information to your decision making. And uh, you know, that's really how uh, uh, you know how you have to do. All right. Uh, does the system have a best time interval? I don't think so. I don't think so because it's purely a trend measuring system. So uh, it really is agnostic to uh, you know best times and things like that. If 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 the levels are aligned, you'll you'll see the master uh, master level uh, you know indicator come up, uh, and uh, and that's it. That uh, you know that will be uh, you know that will be the entry point for your trade. Uh, what analysis do you do in addition to using the, the, I'm telling you this uh, you know uh, I, and, and it's taken quite a while to develop this uh, you know and, and then of course we've gone through and made sure all the uh, you know all the parameters are being calculated properly but uh, this is a very very powerful indicator I mean if you're uh, you know and, and, and I wanted it to work for every kind of time frame because then you know and also for every uh, kind of trader not everybody trades options uh, you know, some people just trade stocks. Uh, some people trade uh, gold, and uh, you know. So this is uh, this is really uh, a, a very very powerful indicator, and uh, uh, you know you can go with these trends. And uh, and the moment the trend breaks, you know you know it. And so, but but bear in mind, once you're looking at a one day chart, then the lowest one will be a day. So you have to wait for the day to get over before uh, this uh, signal can change. If it's going to change, you'll have to wait for a day. But that's just the 
time frame of your trading, uh, each individual person, if you're going to be trading on a daily chart, then you have to wait for the day's bar to get over. If you're trading on a one minute chart, then you can, you know, you obviously you're, you're more like a scalper at that point. So that's, uh, you know, that's how you have to look at it. How will this be priced? I'll get to that right now. Um, what is the method by which the trend is defined and detected? It's a, it goes into price action. It goes into momentum. Okay. So the algo goes into both of those. Uh, and um, the, so it, it, it's, it's sort of similar to the swing. It, it, it doesn't take into consideration money flow and all of that, uh, you know, because then it becomes too complicated. We wanted to define uh, a clear trend across multiple time frames on one chart itself. Uh, you know, that's really been the design criteria for this indicator because uh, very often we take, you know, if you just look at it as, as one time frame and you think something is bullish or bearish, but you don't realize that behind that bullish or bearish sentiment, it's a different sentiment when you look at it at a slightly higher time frame. And that's been the challenge. And, and many trades get into trouble because of that, because you just look at the current trend and you feel, okay, now it's going to be bullish. So this was something that I was, uh, you know, I was always, uh, you know, working on. Uh, how do we, uh, how do we define trends on multiple time frames and present it in a visual manner so that it, it becomes a no-brainer. So uh, it, it, it's really comparing uh, the, you know, uh, 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 the price trend. We also look at, uh, we also look at the momentum. All right. Um, what daily average volume of a given stock? Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to trade the liquid stocks. I mean, that is irrespective of this indicator. You don't want to trade stocks that don't have liquidity. So in my market watch, if you see, I, I sort of place all the you know, highly liquid over here. And, uh, you know, I, I, I generally try to stick to these because you know that these, uh, you know, all these stocks are liquid enough and uh, you won't have a problem getting in and getting out and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's, it's up to you, but I would say uh, you would want to trade stocks that are liquid. Now, I mean, certainly stocks that trade, uh, you know, on, a, on, on the stock itself, it should trade about you know, at least a million shares a day. Uh, that I think is, uh, I mean, there are stocks like Apple and all that trade in several tens of millions. Uh, but, uh, you know, at the very least, you want to be picking a stock that trades about a million shares a day. So there are some, you know, there are some stocks that don't fit that bill, some big stocks that don't fit that bill. Uh, and in those cases, you would want to do it as a spread because otherwise the bid ask spread becomes uh, too wide. Booking is one of them. Let me try booking here. I think booking. If you look at booking, bookings volume today, let me change this to a one day chart, three month daily. And so if you look at bookings volume here, it's less than half a million. You can see that. And, uh, you know, very rarely it goes above. OK, once it's earnings, it goes above one and one point five. So uh, the uh, you know so 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 this is a uh, you know it's a low vol it's a low uh, a liquidity stock and so when you do options make sure you do it as spreads if at all you're doing options you do it as spreads on these kinds of stocks. So let me go back to the ES here and ES three month uh, daily. So but it won't show anything because uh, the charts are not configured that. So I think we had a one hour. I'm going to put a one hour here. Twenty days one hour. And then you can see on the one hour chart, this is what it's looking like. And the latest current trend is, uh, although here, as, uh, you know, as you can see now, it's, you can see what a different picture you get. When you're looking at the one hour chart, you can see that the one hour, uh, this is uh, the one week is bullish. The one week is bullish. You can see the, the fifth row, the highest row is bullish. But then things under it are not uh, bullish. Like the, you know, the 30 minute is not bullish. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, the three days is not bullish. The daily seems to be at least in a bullish trend for now, but then the four hours is not bullish. So, uh, you know, it, 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 would, it would take into consideration all of these things, right? So you know, it, it, it's very interesting. So depending on the time frame of your trade, you would set your charts accordingly and, and do that. And of course, you can have multiple charts. You can have one, uh, you know, one set of charts uh, on somewhat of a one hour basis and then the other chart can be uh, a daily chart and so you you can obviously you have obviously the, all the flexibility to create how many of a charts as you want uh, uh, with this thing with different settings on it okay uh, what is the method by which trend is defined and detected I think I already answered that uh, how do you communicate with the prospective buyer if there is an update are, are, you, are you talking about update to the indicator itself uh, Johnson I think so 
uh, if there are any further updates, you know, once you buy the indicator, if there are any further updates from that point, uh, you will get it for free. Uh, that's for sure. But you know, that's what all, all of this is uh, already, you know, it's, uh, it's already gone through the, it's already gone through the testing. And uh, so, you know, basically, you know, th uh, there is no trading strategy behind this, uh, you know, uh, uh, please bear that in mind, because the trading strategy is yours, uh, you know, it depends on what time frame, but you have one of the best tools available with this now, depending on whatever your time frame is, whatever your stock is, you have the best kind of tool that can give you a much wider picture. You know, it, it's a it, it's a quite a large picture. If you do the three month daily chart, you're looking at a very large picture there. You're looking at trends that are going over multiple months. And uh, so if you have the alignment, uh, you can stay in that trade for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, one of those trades uh, it, uh, itself can uh, do uh, uh, do really well, uh, which will take care of 10 other trades. All right. Do you have to use five levels of time frames? If we are giving you five levels of time frames. Uh, I would uh, I would say five levels of time frames is good. I mean, the, see, the lowest level is the chart itself. So we are giving you four higher time frames uh, in terms of the study. We are giving you four higher time frames, and so and that's good. That's good because you know you want to look at it at uh, at, at multiple uh, you know uh, you know at, at at multiple levels there. Okay, so. That's really what the indicator is. I'm having a December launch. Let me uh, come back to the presentation here. Uh, uh, and so, and, and this, uh, this indicator is listing for 2,497, but there's a launch special of 1497 until December 31st. Uh, and if you want to get into, uh, if you want to buy it, you can use this PayPal link. Uh, you'll also receive the copy of this uh, recording. So you don't need to write it down, but this is, uh, you know, this is how it is. Uh, it's a very powerful, it's really, if you ask me for any kind of trading, this could be the last really indicator you, you need. Uh, you know, it's, we put that much uh, uh, design criteria into it so that it can work for all time frames and all kinds of traders, depending on, uh, you know, whether you're a swing trader, day trader, long term trader, it doesn't matter. Uh, and also on any kind of asset class. So, you know, we built that kind of flexibility into this uh, indicator. So it's been it's, it's taken quite a bit of time to develop it, but uh, it's come out really nice. And so this really could be the most powerful indicator that you can use for your daily trading, uh, daily or you know uh, whatever trades. Even if you're long-term trades, uh, as I, as I'm as I showed, you know you can go even further long-term than that. You can you know, change this to uh, a if you change this to a three-month daily chart, and if you change the parameters here to even more, uh, you can you can do even more. So like for example, if you then let's say the next level would be uh, three days, then let's say the next level after that would be a week, and then after that a month, and then the finally, the last would be a year. So now you're looking going back a year, and if you apply this chart, and uh, you know it'll tell you it'll tell you uh, on a year on a yearly uh, you know how it will work. So three month daily is here. Uh, and uh, here there's some calculations going on. One, one second, three days a week, uh, three days, one week, one year. Okay, it doesn't do that. Okay, it's because it's only a three month chart. I'll have to go back to a, I'll have to go back to a one year daily chart. And so now you'll see, uh, you know, it's still a, it's still a daily chart, but it's a one year chart. And so you have the, the topmost row beside the, you know, below the master level, the topmost row is the trend for a year okay so you can imagine look at this I mean, this would have been a fantastic trade right here if you were a daily trader uh, all of these would have been decent trades because remember now each each bar is one day and so you're in this trade for about six uh, six days you're in this trade for about 10 to almost two weeks there uh, and then a week here and a week there so that's the kind of uh, uh, you know yeah of course it will work on spx it works on es so uh, you know, uh, it, it automatically works on the SPX. So can you please show that live? This is live. ES is live right now. Uh, if you want to see the SPX, yeah, it will work on any chart. SPX doesn't have volume. That's the only difference. And that's why I prefer to use, uh, I prefer to use the ES. Uh, okay. So if you use the ES, you get volume information. And, uh, and you know, that's what it is. All right. Do you plan to have a daily testing for day trader? No, I don't plan to have uh, daily testing. I'm just selling the algo. 
uh, Jamie, is the fourteen ninety seven for a full year? No, fourteen ninety seven is a one time price. Uh, that's it. So and so you you will own the indicator. You'll get the code for it. You'll install it on your on your machine itself. And 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 that's it. It's a one time price. That's it. So fourteen ninety seven one time. All right. Any other questions? Sure, no problem. Okay, if you have any questions, folks, uh, you can always email us info at optiontiger.com. Uh, but this is broadly how it works. It's you know it's simple, but it's powerful. That's the you know that's the thing, and it will for any kind of trader, any kind of time frame, any asset class, any chart, it will work. And so this is like the broadest kind of indicator that will apply to almost everybody because you know everyone needs to get. Uh, some idea of the current trend as well as what are the deeper trends behind it driving and that's really critical so anyway so that's what it is if you have questions please email us info at optiontiger.com but uh, otherwise uh, you know the it's 14.97 you'll get the recording and uh, with the paypal link over there so thanks a lot folks thanks for coming out i know it's late over there and uh, uh, appreciate you coming for the webinar thanks